just told me yesterday that he had good news to tell me today in his office. But what seems strange to me is that today is Valentine's Day. But what does he have to say to me that is so valuable? Anyway, I'll know later. Come on. Here we go my man. I'm going to work. Okay, wife. Have a good day, and may the Lord accompany you. Oh Lord, I place my coming and going back in your hands. Come drive this car with me, so nothing bad happens to me. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Hello Salami, are you well? Yes, things are going very well, boss, and you? Perfect, I'm fine too. You can sit down. I wanted to see you, because I had a good proposition to make you. Oh yes? What is it about, boss? You know since you joined our company, our turnover has increased drastically. I admire your work and your know-how. Your results are truly excellent, and sincerely, you really amaze me as a woman. Thank you very much, boss. This is why I considered increasing your salary by 50%. Wow. Thank you very much, boss. I am so happy with this good news you were telling me today. I will always do what is necessary to ensure that you are satisfied with my work. Okay, it works, Salami. You are a very good employee, and you are very valuable to our company. Continue like this. You can dispose. Okay, it works. Thanks again for the increase. See you later, boss. See you later, Salami. Thank you, Lord, for this salary increase. May your name be magnified and glorified forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Barnabé, I have very good news to tell you. You know, my boss praised me for my work and increased my salary by 50%. Wow. What grace. Great Salome. I'm so happy for you. Praise God for that. Oh. Thank you very much my man. I'm too happy for that too. But you know, what seems a little strange to me is why did he wait until Valentine's Day to tell me this increase? Plus lately, he hasn't stopped complimenting me. But hey, we'll see later if it's really my work, which makes him sing so much. Oh yes? I really hope he's not going to make advances towards you. In any case, time will tell us a little more about this generosity later. I hope Bernabe too. Hello Salami, would you like to accompany me to the gala evening, which I am organizing very soon with my friends? Because I find you very intelligent, and very charming. And I'm sure we'll make a great couple that day. I imagine it at the same time. Oh. Sorry boss, I won't be able to. Because I am already in a relationship and I am a married woman. I had already made my program, and prepared everything in advance. And you come and turn everything upside down, at the last minute. It's going to cost you too much, Salami. I promise you. You just ruined my day like that. Eh? Sorry boss. But you didn't warn me before making your program. I'm a married woman, and there's no way I'm going to accompany you to a gala evening. Plus, I'm a Christian. What's wrong with you, Salome? Why are you so sad? Oh, Barnabas. The unthinkable happened today. I could never imagine that my boss had a grudge for me. He absolutely wanted to take me to one of his gala evenings and become a couple with me. And I told him no, that I couldn't, because I was married. Oh yes? Downright. Did he want to go out with you? Now I understand why he increased your salary, and I also understand why he kept complimenting you for your actions and actions. Yes. Barnabas. I told you so. His behavior towards me seemed very strange. Yes I see. You were completely right Salami. You know Barnabé, since the incident that happened last time with my boss, he has completely changed with me at work. He no longer says hello to me in the morning, when he passes me, he no longer calculates me at all. It was as if I no longer existed in the company. 
Sometimes he has meetings with my work colleagues and I'm not even invited. He started criticizing me among my colleagues and making my life difficult. Frankly, I'm starting to get stressed and anxious when I have to go to work. I think I'm going to resign because I can't continue like this. Oh yes? Okay my wife. I support you. If you no longer feel like working there, you can resign. Because there is no point at all in going to work there with a lump in your stomach. Because I want you whole, in a good mood, when you come home from work in the evening. Oh. Thank you very much my man. Thank you very much for your support, at least I can count on you. You're welcome, my wife. It's normal, you are my other half, we are made for each other. Oh Lord, here I am before you this morning, without work today. If I resigned from my old job, it was because I didn't want to commit infidelity in my relationship. I'm ready to keep your word no matter what. Please, Lord, give me grace to find another, more remunerative job. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Oh Barnabas, I can't wait to do my job interview. I'm so excited too. I am sure that you will be taken in this company. Because last night, I had a dream, in which you found a wonderful job, more remunerative, than the first. Oh yes Barnaby? Glory be to God for this, and may God's will be done in my life. Hello Salome, I hope you are well. Hello, I am very well and you? It's going very well. You know, when I received your CV, I immediately said that you were the person I absolutely needed in my company. Your CV suits me perfectly, and you have all the qualities and level required to access this position of Deputy Director. So that's why I directly prepared your contract. And if you agree, we sign the contract, and you hire whenever you want. Okay, it works, and I'm ready to sign your contract. This is exactly what I wanted. I promise you that I will always do what is necessary to ensure that you are satisfied with my work. Oh. Great. I don't suspect it, Salome. Because you seem very serious and convincing. Can I ask you a question if you don't mind? Oh. Thank you so much. Yes you can. Do you have children, and are you a Christian? I don't have children yet, but I am married and I am a Christian. Oh, that's good. I too am a Christian. And I'm married. Great. Praise God for that. Exactly Salome. I'm so happy to have found the person who will replace me when I'm away from the company. May the name of the Lord be glorified for this. You can sign your employment contract in the secretary's office. Okay it works. Thank you very much for your trust. I have found favor in the eyes of the Lord Barnabas. The Lord gave me a new job, on top of that, my boss is Christian. What more can I ask for? I'm so happy. Oh, let all glory and honor be to our God, until ever and ever. The Lord is so powerful. He is so merciful and compassionate to his children who obey him. Hallelujah Lord. Thank you for answering my prayer, and granting me the desires of my heart. I will always be faithful to you until the end of my days. Thank you for this wonderful position, and for such significant compensation. Glory and honor be to your name forever and ever. Amen. May the Almighty bless you and protect you. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.